Okay, uh, sometimes we need to factor algebraic expressions and in order to do that it's good to keep in mind our previous formulas a plus b times a minus b is a squared minus b squared and in fact we can use these in reverse to factor um, a squared minus b squared and similarly if we see something that obviously looks like this well, we know it's a plus b times a plus b, and the same thing here for the third identity. So, suppose we want to factor x to the 4 minus 1. That's equal to x squared squared minus 1 squared. So here we have a squared minus b squared. And I know that that's equal to a minus b times a plus b. So that's x squared minus 1 times x squared plus 1. Now I can apply the same reasoning here. I have the difference between two squares. So that's actually equal to x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x squared plus 1. Now we'll see later that if x is any real number, um, then this x squared plus 1 cannot be reduced any further. And that, that will become obvious later. x squared minus 9 is similar. This is a squared minus b squared. So this should be equal to a minus b times a plus b. And of course the b here is 3, so it's x minus 3 by x plus 3. And those are my factors of those expressions. Another trick you need to be able to do when factorizing is to pull out common factors. So here um, we want to pull out a common factor from this expression and we see that x minus 3 is common to the first two terms but the last term it's hidden um, in the term itself so we actually have to pull out a 2 and we see that that's 2 times x minus 3 and now we can pull an x minus 3 out of each term so this is x minus 3 times 4x times x plus 2 plus x minus 5 plus 2. And we could tidy this up a little bit if we liked. That's x minus 3 times 4x squared plus 8x plus x minus 5 plus 2. And that's equal to x minus 3 times 4x squared plus 9x minus 3. And we'll see how to factor quadratics in a little while. What about this one? Can I pull out a common factor? Well, I see x plus 2 is common to both terms, so I can pull that out. And this is equal to x plus 2 times x plus the square root of x. So that's reversing the distributive law there and pulling out the common factors. Um, now that's about as tidy as I can get that, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Often we need to factor polynomials into smaller polynomials for one reason or another, and so we should keep in mind those basic identities that I showed you earlier that are on the previous page of your notes. Uh, the a plus b times a minus b is a squared minus b squared, etc. And uh, sometimes we can guess. So we use those above in x to the 4 minus 1 and x squared minus 9. And suppose we're given a general um, polynomial of degree 2, which is something we call a quadratic, and we would like to find its factors. 
and um, we would like to break it up into something of the form x plus a1 times x plus a2. Now let's assume that the leading coefficient here, the coefficient of x squared, is 1. How would we find this a1 and a2? Well, if we think it through, if x squared plus bx plus c is equal to x plus a1 plus x uh, times x plus a2, then we must have, when we use the distributive law to multiply this, that x squared plus a1 plus a2 will be the coefficient of x here, plus a1 times a2 must be equal to x squared plus bx plus c. And as it turns out, two polynomials are equal only if their corresponding coefficients are equal. So these two um, polynomials are equal for every value of x, every real number x, that can only happen if b is equal to a1 plus a2 and c equals a1 times a2. So if we can find an a1 plus a2 so that this happens and this happens, or an a1 and a2, so that a1 plus a2 is b, a1 times a2 is c, then we have our factors for the polynomial of degree 2, or the quadratic. So let's see how we might use this in this particular case. Suppose I want to factor x squared plus 6x plus 9. And it's equal to x plus a1 times x plus a2. So a1 plus a2 must equal 6. And a1 times a2 must equal 9. So I'm looking for factors of 9 here, and the obvious ones to try are a1 equals 3, and a2 equals 3. Well, we have 3 3s are 9, so that one works, and we have 3 plus 3 is 6, so that works. So this works, so therefore we have, this is x plus 3, times x plus 3 or x plus 3 squared. You should try to find the factors, the other two polynomials of degree 2, and then um, check out if your answers are the same as mine when you're done. Okay, for this one, I'm going to break it up as x plus a1 times x plus a2. And I should have a1 plus a2 is minus 1. And a1 times a2 is minus 6. Well, I'm looking for two factors of minus 6. So a1, I'm going to tr try 3 and 2, and this should be plus or minus 3 or plus or minus 2. Well, one should be a minus and one should be a plus in order for this to happen. And in order for a1 plus a2 to be negative 1, then 3, the bigger one, should be negative. So I'm going to try a1 equals negative 3 and a2 equals 2. Then I have the product is negative 6, and the sum is negative 1, so that works. And so this is equal to x minus 3 times x plus 2. Let me try the last one. x squared minus 2x minus 8. Because that's x plus a1 times x plus a2, and I must have a1 plus a2 is negative 2, a1 times a2 is negative 8. I'm looking for factors of 8, which differ by 2 in some sense, 
So I'm going to try A1 is either plus or minus 4, and A2 is either plus or minus 2. Now, when I add them, I want negative 2, so I'm going to make the larger one negative. They must, they must have opposing signs because their product is a negative. And let me check if these two work. So I have minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. And we have 2 times, uh, sorry, minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So that works. And so this is equal to x plus a1, which is x minus 4, x plus 2, and I've found the factors. Okay, later we'll have something co called the quadratic formula, which will help us find the factors of a polynomial. And in fact, that just gives us a formula for what the factors are for a quadratic polynomial or polynomial of degree 2. And also we'll have the fundamental theorem of algebra, which says that any polynomial, whatever its degree, it breaks down into factors of the form ax plus b, so they have degree 1, r factors um, are r and factors of the form quadratic polynomial cx squared plus dx plus e where d squared minus 4ac is less than 0. This is called the discriminant of the polynomial and um, are the discriminant of the quadratic and quadratics of this form are irreducible so they can't be broken down into a product of two linear factors. And this will also fall out of the quadratic formula, which involves the square root of this expression, which doesn't exist if this expression is negative.